show where you don't have to know anything to win. Here's your host, Jeff Duncan. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Brain Surge. I am Jeff. This is the show where you need a great memory and super concentration skills to survive. Let's meet the stars of the show. I like to call them the Brainiacs. Patrick is shooting for the moon. He wants to be an astronaut. Shelby likes to rock the electric guitar. Cameron once ripped his pants doing a backflip. I'd stick to the front flips. Maria wants to be a secret agent when she grows up. Amber hates the ocean but loves to boogie board. And Nick is fast on his feet. He's a dancer and does taekwondo. Very nice. One of you guys today here is going home a champion. You're going to have your chance at thousands of dollars in prizes, plus the sliming of a lifetime. It's going to cover you from tip to tail. You're going to be competing in three intense levels of brain game. The first level is full of visual puzzles that are going to test your ability to see things quickly. You're going to use the special game pod in front of you to lock in your answers and earn points for every correct answer you give. At the end of this level, the four of you with the most points are going to move on to level two, whereas the other two, well, you're going down. The brain drain. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, I am ready. I'm going to head over to the brain center so we can get this dog and pony show on the road. Let's do it. Level one. Hey, Maria, turn around. Do I something in my teeth? No. No, okay, good. Let's kick it off with a 10 point puzzle. Remember, pay close attention to these instructions. On. Pay close attention to the dance moves I do. I call this one my first move. I follow it up, of course, with my second move. I can't get enough of my third move. Oh, it's the grand finale, the fourth move. Which move did I not do earlier? Time is up. Let's see what the correct answer is. Oh, I'm breaking it down. Yeah. Three. I didn't do that move, but you better believe I'm going to be busting that one out a little later. Let's see who got it right. Oh, everybody but Cameron. We're going to give everyone 10 points. OK, this next puzzle is worth 20 points. There's a number on the side of this car. It's going to raise by three times. As soon as you can identify the number, enter it on your game pod. That car kind of reminds me of my first car, only I had a truck and it only had three wheels. So, as a matter of fact, it doesn't remind me of my car at all. Let's see what the correct answer is. Two, seven, six, seven is the correct answer. Let's see who got it right. Yeah. All right, well done, Patrick, Amber, and Nick. It's time for our third puzzle. And, oh, let's make this one worth 30 points. You guys cool with that? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do it. I need help apprehending a suspect. Listen carefully to the caller's description. Uh, yeah, I saw somebody release a jar of cockroaches in the school library. Uh, he was about four foot six with red hair, freckles, and he wore a pocket protector. Which of these suspects matches that description? Just want you guys to know, my detective skills are top notch. That's right, Patrick. I got my eye on you. All right, let's see what the correct answer is. It's the guy with stripes. Oh, number three. Let's see who got it right. All right, Amber, Patrick, and Shelby, well done. Let's get to give a little separation in the scores. Amber and Patrick tied for first, still with 60 points. Shelby's in third with 40. Nick, 30. Maria, 10. And Cameron, yet to get on the board. But I got a good feeling about this one, Cameron. This puzzle's worth 40 points, and here it comes. This gymnast is about to attempt the world record for most somersaults in midair. Try and count how many she does. And she's off. Maybe the 
judges didn't see that. How many somersaults did she do? Cameron, how'd you think you did on this one? Good. You think you did good? I like yeah. that. You've had a lot of confidence. Do you think you could do any of those flips, maybe? Not at this time. Not at this time. <laughs> maybe tomorrow. Probably. You know what? We'll save it. We don't want to burn all the energy here in the first level. Let's see what the correct answer is. Oh, it's tens across the board. Let's see who got it right. Oh, yeah. Cameron Maria. 40 points. Cameron, was that right? 40. Your lucky number, favorite yes. number. That's right. Well played, guys. Well played. This puzzle is worth 50 big ones. That's right. It's going to be a good one. Take a look. One of me is about to eat a watermelon. Keep track of where he lands. In which position did the watermelon eating Jeff land? All right, Maria, you ever tried jumping around doing all those cartwheels and somersaults like that on a full stomach? No. It's not easy. And I'm telling you from experience. All right, let's see what the correct answer is. <laughs> Number four. Let's see who got it right. Everybody got it right. 50 Yay. points for everybody, which means Patrick and Amber are still holding down first place with 110 points. Maria, 100 points. Cameron, 90. Shelby, 90. And Nick, 80. Guys, this is it. After this, the four of you with the most points are going to advance to the next level, and the other two of you, well, you're going to be heading down the brain drain. This puzzle, because I'm generous, is worth 100 points, and here it comes. I'm entering this elevator on the first floor. Pay attention to which floor I exit the elevator. Which floor did I exit the elevator? How'd you guys think you did? I mean, this is 100 points. There's a lot on the line here, right? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah? Nick, how'd you, did you guess? No. No. All right. Well, let's watch it again and see what the correct answer is. All right, remember, starting on the first floor, then Sally Brown Eyes comes in, Johnny Football Hero. And I'm up to the uh, fourth floor where Sally Brown Eyes exits. And the robot shooting lasers. And Johnny Football and I run out yeah. on the second floor. Let's see who got it right and is getting 100 points. Patrick, Maria, and Nick, congratulations. 100 points. Add them to your score. Okay. This is the moment of truth. This is the time where we find out which four of you are moving on to level two and which two of you are going down the brain drain. In first place with 210 points is Patrick. Followed by 200 points. In second place is Maria. With 180 points in third place is Nick. Now, there are three players left in only one more slot. Fourth place with 110 points is Amber. Which means Cameron, Shelby, you guys played a great game. And before I send you down the brain drain, I want to send you home with this. Congratulations, you've won Nick Arcade gift certificates. Nick Arcade is where you can buy video games based on all your favorite Nickelodeon shows. All that and a bucket of slime. There is only one way out of here, and it is now the brain drain. Come on down, Shelby. Four brainiacs will put their massive minds to the test. Level two, don't go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back to Brain Search. I am Jeff. Congratulations to the four of you brainiacs for making it to this level. And you know, I'd like to get to know a little bit more about you, Patrick. You want to be an astronaut? Yeah, definitely. Have you ever had time flying around in the shuttle? 
Yeah, I landed the space shuttle simulator at the Kennedy Space Center oh, and uh, the Predator simulator, which is the plane my dad flies in the Air Force. And you know what? Now you can add the Brain Search Handshare simulator to yeah. that resume. But it's not a simulator, it's real. It is, that's right. Look out! Maria, you want to be a secret agent? Yes. Very yes. nice. And what would your secret agent name be? The Shadow. The Shadow. And would, would you say it just like that every time, too? So introduce yourself. I'm like, oh, hey, I'm Jeff, and you are? The shadow. <laughs> Nick! Dancing. What do you like better, the dancing or the taekwondo? Taekwondo, I love punching things. You... <laughs> I want to make sure I keep my distance from you. Amber! You hate the ocean, but you, you boogie board. Yeah. Explain, why do you hate the ocean? Because all the freaky animals or mammal things that... <laughs> around underneath the water. Okay, well, you're going to want to avoid going down the brain drain then because we put some of those freaky animals in there. All right, enough chit-chat. You guys ready to play? Yeah. Let's get it going. Level two. On this level, I'm going to tell you guys a story from Jeff's big book of super fantastic true chronicles of truth that are absolutely true. All right, guys, stand up. It's story time. Now listen and pay close attention to the story I'm about to tell you, because afterwards, I'm going to ask you some questions. Oh, <laughs> you guys are in for a treat, because this is a good one. And remember, everything I'm about to tell you is absolutely true. <laughs> my childhood was pretty normal. Like most kids, my parents took me to a safari in Africa when I was just five months old. Early on in the trip, a ferocious lion snatched me out of our vehicle before he could snack on me, a gorilla named Kerchu swooped down and rescued me. He raised me as his son for the next 14 years, plus taught me how to swing on vines while giving the old jungle yell, ah! <coughs> something like that, and showed me how to tie a boa constrictor into a knot. I was known as Teen Zen, Prince of the Jungle. One day I was wrestling a hyena who had laughed at me when my parents finally found me. They took me to their home in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and enrolled me in high school. And that, my friends, is where the trouble began. At the big basketball game, I gave a cheer so loud that it knocked half a dozen kids out of the bleachers. Then to show Jane, the head cheerleader that I liked her, I searched for bugs in her hair. Finally, I battled a threatening-looking panda wearing tennis shoes. And just as the coach was about to kick me out, a tiger that escaped from the zoo entered the gym. My instincts kicked in. I swung on some climbing ropes, jumped down on the tiger, giving him a big slam dunk, thus saving Jane and winning the game by two points. That's my story, and it's all 100% true. All right, guys, I'm going to ask you some questions. You're going to lock in your answers. To lock in your answer, you're going to have a seat. If you get it right, you're going to hear this. And if you get it wrong, Amber, could you demonstrate? It's gonna sound like that. That's just a sound effect. That wasn't Amber, I promise. All right, Patrick, you ready? Yep. My parents took me on a safari in what continent? Africa. Let's find out. Well played. Maria, I got in trouble in what type of sporting event? Um, basketball. Well done, Shadow. What was the name of the cheerleader I liked? Uh, Jane? Ding means right. What ferocious animal snatched me out of my parents' vehicle? A uh, tiger? Oh, hang on, Amber. Oh. It was not a tiger, but it was of the big cat family. It was a lion. What type of snake did I tie in a knot, Patrick? A boa constrictor. Very nice. Maria, as Prince of the Jungle, I was known by what name? King Zan. Nick, what was the name of the gorilla that raised me? This is uh, a tough one. Kenzie? Oh, oh no. It was actually Kerchu. Patrick Maria, guess what? It's time for a knockout round. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. Knockout round. I hope you guys are paying close attention because I'm about to pop it up a notch. 
Behind these numbers are pairs of images you just heard from the story. Match a pair correctly, you stay in the game. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to memorize the board. You guys ready? Okay, your 10 seconds starts now. All right, did you guys get a good look? Yep. I did too. Patrick. Five. Five. And 13. And 13. Nice. Oh, Kirk Chu, he was such a loving father. Maria. One. One. And seven. Seven. Oh. All right. We have a wrong answer, which means we're in sudden death territory. The next right answer, that person will move on to the final round. What's your first number? Three. Three. And ten. And ten. Well played, Patrick. You are today's Brain Surge champion. And Maria, have a seat. So long, Agent Shadow. <laughs> Never gets old, Patrick. You're moving on to the final stage. A chance of thousands of dollars in prizes, plus the sliming of a lifetime. Let's see what Maria, Nick, and Amber won for making it this far. Congratulations! You've won tickets to Knott's Berry Farm! Knott's Berry Farm is America's first theme park with over 165 rides, unique shows, and attractions for the entire family. Knott's Berry Farm! Amber, Nick, Maria, there is only one way out of here, and that is down the brain drain. Bring it! Come on down, Amber! See ya! All right, Nick! Come on down, Shadow! See if Patrick can find the path to victory in level three, final stage. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back to Brain Surge. I'm still Jeff, and this is still Patrick, who has cleared the first two levels. Congratulations up top. How does it feel? Great. It feels good. So good. All right, you're about to play the final stage where you could win thousands of dollars in prizes plus the famous slimy. Level three, the final stage. This level's got three parts, Patrick. Each one's more difficult than the last. It's your job to memorize the light pattern that appears on the floor and then recreate it by stepping on the right squares. Let me show you. Right square does that. Wrong one going to do that, and then you're going to have to come back here and start all over. Once you complete the first path, you're going to stop the clock by stepping on that orange button right up there. Then, the floor will expand to a 5x5 five five grid, where the second path will be revealed. Complete that path, and you're going to have the hardest path of them all. The dreaded 6x6. Six six. Here's what you could win. Complete the 4x4 four four and win an electric guitar. The Behringer Medallion Electric Guitar. Record, play live with amp effects, or play along to MP3s with USB connections straight into your computer. From Behringer. Complete the 5x5 five five and win a Schwinn bike. These Corvette and Sprite Cruiser bicycles feature full wrap fenders, 24 inch wheels, dual spring saddle, coaster brakes, and a kickstand. From Schwinn. Complete the 6x6 six six and win a San Francisco Fisherman's Wharf on San Francisco's waterfront. Dinner for four at Bubba Gump's, a tour of the Wax Museum, and a trip to the Aquarium of the Bay. Okay. This is it, Patrick. I'm going to put 90 seconds on the clock. Where did I put that? Oh, it's right here. There it is. Pay attention. Here's your first path. You're going to see it twice. All right, the clock's gonna start when you make your first step, whenever you're ready. He's off, a little, walking a little gingerly. Oh, no. Come on back, Patrick. Wait, we're gonna see it again. Shake it off, shake it off, kid, you got it, you got it. Here he is, he's off, he's got it. Oh. All right, stay. You got plenty of time, plenty of time. You are the proud owner of a new guitar. Put it upstairs, come right over here. Oh, look what's happening. Maybe you wanted to see the five by five. Well, guess what? Here it is. This one's for the bike. Take a look at this path. OK, 
Okay, slightly more difficult, but I think you're good. You got 68 seconds left. Clock starts when you make your step. He's off. It's almost a good This one is slightly easier for Patrick. Okay, take a look. You got pretty far, you got plenty of time. You're doing well. He's got it. All right, Patrick, you got yourself a guitar, you got yourself a bike, and you did it so well that we're actually going to surprise you. We're going to make it a little harder for you. We're going to bring out a blindfold. Can we bring it out? I'm just kidding, Patrick. No, the 6x6 six six is hard enough, but this is for all the marbles. This is for the trip to San Francisco. This is for the sliming. All right? Okay. Pay attention. Here's your path. Oh, boy. Yep. He's counting it out in his head. He's got it. All right, Patrick, clock starts. He's stomping through it. So far, so good. All right. He got like, you got like more than half the way through that. Wait, wait for it. Okay, go ahead. All right. Here's where he messed up last time. Can he do it? He's got 30 seconds. Come on back. All right, Patrick, relax. You've got 25 seconds. He's got this first part down. He is locked in. No, no, no. All right. 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. This is for San Francisco. He's got it. Look at him. Quick on his feet, like a ninja. Six new brainiacs are gonna take it to the streets.